Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. King of the harvest, king of big pink, king of the smile, baby, just don't think, king of the background. Every success feels like a failure on that expectation meter. Find the right notes, pours to measure. You've got to paint that perfect picture. Ooh. Fox 17, a rock and review. That was beautiful. Dana Manning, you know, she's huge in Canada and now becoming huge here as well. <laughs> Having played the Bluebird and all, singer, songwriter, guitarist, producer. Mm -hmm. and, and you have a recent album that came out uh, in July. I did. With a couple uh, of your friends. Yep, Trent Severn, it's myself, M. Griner, Lindsay, Lindsay Schindler, and uh, I produced and engineered the record myself up in Canada. Yeah. And it came out on July 1st um, to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Canada. Wow. And we wrote songs that tried to capture the landscape of different musics in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, from the East Coast to the West Coast to the Ottawa Valley. And we have lots of little um, funny nudges as well. There's a big band in Canada called the Bare Naked Ladies. Yeah. And they have a oh, song yeah. called, uh, yeah, you guys know. Huge. Yeah. Um, they have a song called Lying in Bed Like Brian Wilson. <laughs> we now have a song called Lying in Bed Like Brian Adams. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. How incredible. <laughs> you know, I like it also on this to where, you know, you've got the map of Canada and everything inside so you can actually use this while traveling the country too. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then so <laughs> you've got your nice, the picture of the three of you here. And then you said that you actually had to pose for the cover here for this beautiful artwork. Yeah, Scott McCowan is an incredible uh, illustration artist from Canada. Actually, it's not an illustration. He That's a carving. I don't know how to, to, wow. to talk about it, but basically that started off black, and that's a relief etching that he puts in a computer and then colors. And we did oh, pose. Amazing. We portaged that canoe. Yeah, you know, and I yeah. learned something new today, as I yeah. hope our viewers will, to where yeah. portage is the act of lifting the canoe over your head. That's right, and, and taking it to the next body of water. And so mm -hmm. it's not like in Nashville, in where I would say portage. <laughs> <laughs> it is portage. It is portage. So yeah. I've, we've learned French in this episode. <laughs> so uh, now you're going to be working on your uh, solo album as well. And you've already had several out. And we were talking earlier before we came down to the studio mm -hmm. to where, you know, you started performing very young. I did. Uh, I, writing I had, songs and performing live. Yeah, my parents are both musicians. My, da my dad is a music teacher. And I wrote an entire record in my room when I was 16 years old. Wow. Yeah, and I ended up through circumstance, meeting a great producer and getting a spec deal with a studio that up front, uh, paid for up front for me to make that record. How amazing. Amazing. And um, EMI Canada have picked that up and network mm -hmm. in the United States. And I toured Lilith Fair with that. And wow. I toured a little bit with Joe Cocker. And was that Radiohead? I did one show with Radiohead, yeah, which was mind-blowing. Pretty and, amazing. I mean, yeah. you know. And I did tour the country with um, Burton Cummings the, from the Guess Who. Right. Yeah. Wow. Which was amazing. Well, you know, and, and I think it's so great, too. You know, we were talking about it, Dana, and particularly for a lot of artists here in Nashville to where at a point you took more control over the creative process and you're enjoying it a lot more now. Oh, I, I sure am. <laughs> and, yeah, I had a tough time. The second record I had to make with the A&R team, mm -hmm. and I, I had a tough time. It wasn't a good record. I mean, we all got along. It was fine. But I just wasn't feeling comfortable about where I was and I actually moved to, to northern Canada in northern BC on the Alaska Highway. Wow. And it's got to be warm up there, right? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but a really cool community and really inspiring place and that's where I reconnected to music. Um, and How interesting. Trent Severn, actually, the girls actually live just outside of my hometown yeah. and really brought me back to the area. How great. Yeah. So the, so the change in scenery and everything really helped out then with the, with the music and what you were trying to achieve then? Well, I had a, the great opportunity of writing that first record, honestly thinking no one was going to hear it. Ah. And I, it's almost like I had to go back to that thinking that no Find one that was going to hear it. Well, you yeah. know, and you were talking earlier too, Dana, to where it's like, instead of, you know, when you would dread going on tour, now it's like a tour-cation. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you plan out your 50 dates. That's right. That you're going to go touring, and it's fun. It's so much fun. And honestly, um, we all have a pact in the band. The, 
that life is the work of art mm -hmm. and that if this doesn't fit around what's important to us in our lives, it's not worth it. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Well, and I also wanted to bring up to viewers uh, your album that, you know, you're going to start the uh, the Pledge Music campaign, right? Yeah, that's right. And, and so your next solo album will be, be, will be coming out, what, early next year? It'll probably come out in April is kind okay. of where I've got the timelines planned. I'm going to try to make part of it here. Um, right. And, it, yeah, so I have got a campaign on Pledge Music. Okay. dot com slash Dana Manning, mm -hmm. and it's D-A-Y-N-A, -A, um, and it's going to be called Morning Light, and you can pre-order the record. Um, there's all kinds of fun uh, incentives. You could even come golfing with me up in wow. Canada. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, that's what, you know, you get a trip, you get some great music. That's right. <laughs> now, I want to talk about this because, you know, I can't help myself, Dana. These incredible guitars that you're playing, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, I understand your guitar teacher is, is the guy building these. Talk a little bit of because you've got, what, yeah. five of these? I have four. Four. Yeah, I and have one um, more coming soon, right? After the next album hits. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs> maybe a little small one. I yeah. love those little guitars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is a McConville Auditorium made by a guy named Michael McConville in Stratford, Ontario. Right. And he taught me how to play guitar. Wow. But I guess the difference between uh, myself and other students was that he would teach me a finger picking pattern, and almost every week I'd come back with a new song to play him. Wow. With something that he showed me. Um, incredible. Yeah, so it was really incredible. And after years of, I think, just not liking the sound of my guitar when it came to shows, <laughs> he gave me this guitar. He made it's this gorgeous. for me, um, knowing how I play, uh, knowing my style. So this knowing was the one that frame. actually he cut down the tree he, and yeah. built it for he you. He cut down uh, the back and sides. It's a walnut tree himself. Amazing. Yeah. It's, it's a, a beautiful it guitar. Amazing. Great neck on it, too. Thank you. Now, I was yeah. also going to bring up, too, yeah. that, uh, you know, and, and a lot of musicians use them here. You're working with Tonewood amps, too. I am. Uh, the Tonewood amp, actually, I've got one on the guitar here. Um, Look at that. Yeah, so this basically, there's a big magnet inside my guitar, mm -hmm. and this is attached by that magnet. Ta da! Yeah. And then do you program in your own sounds with it as well? Yeah, it will add reverb, delays, tremolos, Leslie effects, even overdrive. I and think they sound amazing. Yeah, and they, it will come right out of the sound hole. It always kind yeah. of surprises people when you have an acoustic yeah. guitar and you'll, and you'll turn on the uh, Tonewood amp and it's like going, wow, where's that coming from? It's like all inside of this guitar. Yeah, there, here's a little sample. but Well, can you hear it? Oh, gosh. Look at me. Let's get it in there right. Oh, might not be plugged in right. Yeah, one sec. Such a beautiful guitar. It is. There it oh. is. Let's turn it down a little bit. Yeah. But. Wow. Sounds amazing. Doesn't it? And I have to, t what I use it for, I'm not, most of the, Folks that demo the Tonewood are, are really flashy acoustic players like Mike Dawes right. and uh, all those folks. I sit in my living room and get so lost in the sound of the Tonewood, and my writing is incredible because it inspires, it, you it, it it. inspires me. Yeah. yeah, and I honestly think anyone who um, who's writing songs at home would love to. Well, have I think this it's too. nice too with, a, with they don't do any damage to the guitars because obviously this is a custom made one of a kind guitar. Yeah. And if you're putting one on there, you're not worried about it. No, the magnet's attached with um, double-sided sticky tape yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so you're working on the new solo album. Any other new projects? I mean, obviously, you're touring on Portage. Um, I am. I do do a lot of kind of side projects and help out other artists Neat. at home. I, there's a really great artist named Brad Canning I work with at mm -hmm. home, and we're just finishing off a record for him. But he, you know, we're co-producing it. He took the initiative to get the beds done like the guitars and the bass and the drums and he wow. comes to me and i call it the knickers and lace the vocals <laughs> the background the percussion yeah. the violins things like that i help him finish and polish off the record wow so i'm kind of really open to working in any way um on anything like i i've really been uh lucky to build a career for myself where I can actually say yes or no or right. yeah and all these different things I also that's a uh, great place to be it is a nice place to be one other thing that I've been doing is um I give talks on songwriting and produce producing wow. so I've been flown around Canada to do two-hour 
lectures, basically. How and incredible. I, yeah, you have to really do one of those in Nashville here. Oh, I'd love to. Or do Skype ones. Then you can yeah, do them around actually, the world. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. But so, I talk a little bit about songwriting. Then I show them a song from literally the words on the page to final production. How amazing. And then I talk about sustaining yourself as an artist in wow. our times. Well, yeah. and you've definitely accomplished that. Yeah, thank you. Well, be yeah. sure and check her out live. Go to her website, Dana Manning, and uh, pick up a copy of Portage. And we'll also be on the lookout for your new album coming out this next year. That's right. Morning Light, Dana Morning. Manning. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Fox 17 Rock Interview. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.